to also support. And I definitely think the email situation is something that she needs to continually say, I, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, it's never going to happen again. Is there anybody here who's willing to say, look, I'm not going to defend uh, any statements by Donald Trump or any actions, but they did happen a while ago, and I just want to look at the issues. And so I would consider voting for Donald Trump. Wow. Do you, is that, do you think, because when I was at Otterbein, I would not say it was a liberal campus by any stretch of the imagination. I would say Donald Trump doesn't rep represent my Republican Party. I look for in a candidate, someone who has experience, um, skill, a plan, um, and temperament, and he really has none of that. Who have we not heard from who wants to talk about sort of the mood on campus and getting people? Yes. It's really shocking and disappointing when I hear like a large amount of students saying, we're not voting. And they tell you why. Yeah, they say this election is a joke. And that's really the concern, right, for Hillary Clinton and rebuilding that Obama coalition, and that is if a lot of these millennials stay home and talking to these students, a lot of them are active. That's why they took this kind of class. But they say they're not necessarily always having a lot of luck in pushing other 18, 19, and 20-year-olds to get out and vote. One more point. I talked to not just the Democratic Party chair, but the Republican Party chair. They both told me they still believe that this race is really, really close Hard to gauge right now the revelations over the last 24 hours or so. It's going to be fascinating, Kate, from so many angles to see how that new Ohio poll looks when Steve unveils it in the next hour.